All right, real quick tutorial here on how to add lighting. You can see using Twilight Renderer, I get these shadows off of my things. You see I've put a weaker light over here, two stronger lights off of the tops of the cylinders. And I'm going to show you how I do that real quick. Close out of my renderer. And you can see I've got these weird kind of shapes coming off the top of my cylinders. I'm going to delete one out and add one back in for you. And in your Twilight Render tool set, you can see that there is a Create Light button. It's the pencil over the kind of yellowish triangle shape. And a window is going to come up, and it's going to be a three-click process. The second click is where it's going to end up. So I'm going to start kind of on the outside click, and now the center of that light is going to be right here in the center of that cylinder. And then I'm going to shoot that light up. This will only matter if you change what kind of light that is, though. Three clicks. You can see that it's a much smaller circle than I had before. In this, I can name that light. So maybe I'll name this light number one. And I can change the radius. So I'm going to try five. You see that got a little bigger. Maybe I'll try to fit it to... An 8 is close, maybe I need a 9. That's just about right. And you can see a preview down here in the lamp of what it's going to look like. I don't find that to be entirely accurate, so don't totally trust it. You can change the color of your lights. Maybe this time I'm going to change it to like a blue. And I'm going to change the power. I'm going to change this to a 600 watt. Now that, that really washes out this uh, sample here. But it's not going to be as bright as you think. So I'm going to close out of that now that I have one light involved. The other thing I'm going to show you is that cloud in the sky. It's going to be the environment. And you can see here your default is going to be like a 1 for the brightness of the sky. You can see it's much brighter. But if I'm going to be using lighting, external lighting, I'm going to be wanting to uh, dim down the sky a bit if I'm using the physical sky. Now there's other ways you can do this, but I'm going to encourage you to just keep physical sky just for the ease of this project. I'm going to change the brightness to like a 0.1 and we'll see that this gets real dark and that'll be perfect for uh, having external light in our scene. So I'm going to turn back on my renderer and I'm going to put this just a preliminary render and you'll see here in just a moment it does take a bit longer to calculate with the lighting. And you can even see these blue particles starting to show up because I changed the color of my light. The default is white light. And you'll even see that there's starting to be reflective surfaces coming into play here with that blue light. So something to play around with in this lesson.